wants to live in Ma's meadow. <laughs> oh, hello. I love my basket. It's so soft and cosy and warm. There, all tidy. Now we can play with Billy and Ba. Come on. Sammy Snail. Hello, Sammy. Sorry, I didn't realise you were having breakfast. Let's carry on to Buttercup Meadow. Bye, Sammy. Hello, Ma. Where's Billy? Prove not. Here. She's gone off to look for her lost magnifying glass. So I'm glad you're here, Jess. I miss Billy when she isn't with me. Ah, oh, she'll be back soon, Ma. I hope so. I wish more of my friends lived here, then I'd never be on my own. Hmm, let me think. Who wants to live in Bar's Meadow? Hey, that's the big question. Who? Ask a lot of. What? Ask a lot of. Where? Ask a lot of. Ask it. in Bar's Meadow. You, Jess. You can come and live here. Uh, well, it's a lovely meadow, but I like my home in the barn. I've got my special warm, cosy sleeping place in there, so the meadow isn't quite the right home for me. Oh. Hmm. I'm sure I can find someone who'd love to live here. Really? Do you want to come with me, Bar? Well, I haven't finished my breakfast yet. <laughs> OK, I won't be long. You'll come with me, won't you? I'm going to see someone who loves eating green leaves. So maybe he'll like eating the green grass in Bath Meadow. He's got a shell on his back. Can you guess who it is? Is it Horace? Joey? Or Sammy Snail? Sammy Snail, that's right! Hooray! Sammy might like to live with Bar. Let's ask him. There you are, Sammy. Would you like to try living in Bar's meadow? I think he'd like to try, don't you? Do you like it here, Sammy? Oh dear. I don't think Sammy likes the flowers here. Why does he carry that shell round on his back? It's his home bar. His home? He can take his home anywhere? Yes, which means he probably doesn't like to stay in one place. <gasps> Look, off he goes. So he doesn't want to stay in my meadow then? <sighs> don't worry, Bar. I'll find someone who does want to. Horace likes sitting in one place. Let's see if he'd like to sit in Bar's meadow. Have you seen my magnifying glass, Horace? Hmm. No. Hmm, where can it be? <laughs> Sorry, just saw Kevin the carp. Maybe he knows. Have you seen my magnifying glass, Kevin? Nope, he hasn't seen it either. Maybe I left it at the twisty tree. See you later. Good luck, Billy. <laughs> Hello, Horace. Would you like to come and live with Bar in Buttercup Meadow? In the meadow? No, sorry, Jess. I'd miss the whistling wind in the pond reeds. Hey, Kevin might like to live there. Is there any water for him to swim in? Water? Where did we see water at Buttercup Meadow? In Bar's water trough, in a bucket, or in a hose pipe? In Bar's water trough, yes! Yes! Kevin, would you like to live in Buttercup Meadow? 
I think he'd like to try, don't you? Hello, Bar. Look who we've brought to you. <coughs> Ta-da! Here's Kevin. He's come to live in your trough. He likes it. <laughs> Mind if I have a drink, Kevin? <gasps> Careful, Kevin. I don't want to drink you. Perhaps I'll just eat more grass instead. Do you want some? Bar, Kevin's a fish. He doesn't eat grass. At home, he eats worms and pondweed. But there aren't any worms or pondweed in my trough. We could add some. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> I don't think Buttercup Meadow's the right home for Kevin after all. Ah, home sweet splashy home. Mm. Whoops. <laughs> Bye, Kevin. Hmm. There must be someone who wants to live with Bar. Bees! Would you like to live with Bar? <laughs> I think maybe they do. Come on, let's go to the meadow. And so Jess is going to find someone to live in my meadow. I have Bar! Bees! Do you like it here, Bees? Maybe you could make us all some yummy honey in my meadow. Bar, bees need a beehive to make honey. That's their home. I haven't got a beehive. Bees build their own beehives in nice dark places, like a hollow tree. I haven't got a hollow tree either. <sighs> Don't be sad, Bar. Come and help me find someone else. Bye, Willow. Bye. Oh. oh, cheer up. A new friend could be just around the corner. <gasps> Look! Where? Who? I found Billy's magnifying glass. Billy will be so pleased. <gasps> and look! <gasps> ants! Lots of ants. Do you like living here, ants? They do. Thanks, Jess. It looks like I have friends living here already. The ants were here all along and we never noticed. We found the answer to the big question. Yippity-yay, yippity-yay, yippity-yay! Hooray! Hey, hey, yippity-yay! We found the answer with Jess today. We followed the clues, we put it to the test. We tried. to live in Bar's Meadow. Hey, here comes Billy. Thanks, Jess. <laughs> this is my perfect home. Why don't you look for different kinds of homes next time you go outside? Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye. Why are the ants visiting Mimi? Hello! This is a great lookout spot in my barn. I can see Mimi's painting something over there. I'm going to find out what it is. Do you want to come too? Come on! A little bit of orange there. Bit of green for the tops. Wow, that's really nice, Mimi. Oh, thanks. Mm, sweet, juicy carrots. They're making me hungry. Me too. Lucky I've got a sandwich to keep me going. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Mimi, what's wrong? Oh, I've got a tickle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat or play 
Don't do anything when I'm being tickled! Hmm. <laughs> Come on, Jess. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> Mimi, I know what's giving you a teeny tiny tickle. Teeny tiny feet. You've got an ant on you. Come on, little ant. Off you go. There, it's gone. <gasps> Jess, look! There are ants all over the place. But why? Why are the ants visiting Mimi? Hey, that's the big question. Ask a lot of Ask a lot of Ask a lot of Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way Guess with Jess Come on, let's play What's the question here today? Why are the ants visiting Mimi? <laughs> I don't know I never invited them Oh, I wish they'd go <laughs> Well, if they're not here to see you there must be something else they're interested in. Maybe it's your painting, Mimi. Yes, maybe they want a painting for their house. Hmm. Hey, look. Perhaps some of them are going home. Oh, I wonder what their home's like. Let's follow them and see. Then we'll know whether one of Mimi's paintings would fit in an ant's house. Yes, let's find out. This way, everyone. The ants have come a really long way. Oh, look, Jess! <gasps> this must be the ants' home. But it's just a huge pile of earth. Let's go and see. Look, down there. They're bringing earth out. I wonder why. Maybe they're digging underground tunnels and all the earth they've dug out is what made this big hill. Well, if the ants live underground, they won't want any of my pictures, will they? It's too dark in there to see them. Ah! Look, <laughs> it's a, a walking lily pad. When did lily pads start walking? Don't worry, Bar. This lily pad isn't walking on its own. It's being carried by ants. Look, there it goes. I wonder where it came from. They must have got it from somewhere. I know. Lily pads grow in water. So where in Greendale Farm do you think the lily pad came from? The stable, the barn, or Horace's pond? Horace's pond, yes. There are lily pads there. Do you think the ants have been visiting Horace too? Maybe. Let's go and see if Horace is feeling tickly too. <laughs> nope, sorry. No ants here today. Why? There's lots of them at Mimi's and we're trying to find out why. Ah, oh, lunch. <laughs> Delicious. Lunch? What if the ants are looking for their lunch, Mimi? In my hut? Yes. What do ants like to eat? Let me think. Sweet things. Ants love sweet things. <laughs> sweet things? Yes. Mimi had something sweet in her hut, didn't she? What was it? Lettuces, carrots or potatoes? Carrots, yes! Well done! Mimi had sweet, juicy carrots in her hutch. That's right. I've got a huge pile of carrots and they're lovely and sweet. I don't want the ants eating them. Come on! We've got to save Mimi's carrots. Whoop -whoop. One, two, three, four, five carrots. 
Oh, phew. They're all here. So the ants didn't want them for their lunch. Oh, and now I'm feeling tickly again. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Billy, stop it. But I'm not tickling you, Bar. <laughs> hey, now, now I'm feeling tickly as well. <laughs> I'm laughing because I think it's funny. <laughs> I'm laughing because I feel tickly too. <laughs> the ants are tickling all of us. <laughs> oh, why are the ants here in my hutch? I'm never going to finish my picture if they don't leave soon. Ah, a walking sandwich. When did sandwiches start walking? It can't be moving on its own. It just looks like it is. I'm sure we saw something else that looked like it was moving on its own. What was it? A flower, a lily pad, or an apple? A lily pad, of course! <laughs> and what was underneath the lily pad? <gasps> Ants! They're carrying your sandwich, Mimi! Just like they were carrying that lily pad! But I thought ants like sweet things. Bread isn't sweet. No, but it's a honey sandwich, and honey's sweet. Of course! <laughs> I don't think I want to finish this one, though. You can give it back to the ants. <laughs> Hi, sandwich! <laughs> <laughs> so now we know why the ants came to visit you. We've found the answer! Yippity yay! Yippity yay! Yippity yay! Mimi to eat her sweet honey sandwich. Ta-da! There, it's finished. Well done, Mimi. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. I think it's tickle time. <laughs> Do you have some ticklish friends you can tickle? <laughs> Come back and help me answer another question soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> What's my favourite thing about spring? <sighs> Hello. Did the birds wake you up too? They sing really loudly at this time of year. Do you know what time of year it is? It's springtime! It's my friend, Little Bird. I wonder what she's singing about. I bet I know. Hi, Jess. Hello, Mimi. <laughs> Can you hear Little Bird singing? She's really singing loudly. I wonder what she's so excited about. I think she's singing all about spring. Everyone loves the spring, don't they? Yes. I love all the spring daffodils. Me too. And the new fresh leaves. And little birds singing. But what's your favourite thing about spring? Hmm. What's my favourite thing about spring? <gasps> hey! That's the big question. Who? Ask a lot of. What? Ask a lot of. Ask a lot of. Ask a lot of. Ask it, test it, find a way. Guess with Jess, come on, let's play. What's the question here today? What's my favourite thing about spring? Oh, this is going to be hard. There are so many things I like. Maybe if I ask the others what their favourite spring thing is, it'll help me decide. Good idea. Tell you what. I'll give you a special present when you've answered the question. 
Oh, wow! Thanks, Mimi. Who shall I visit first? I know. See if you can guess who it is. She's my biggest friend. She lives in the orchard and she wears a hat. Is it Willow, Horace or Billy? It's Willow! My favourite thing about spring? Hmm... The blossoms on the trees! Definitely! That's a good choice, Willow! They look lovely! I like the sunshine and raindrops on my nose I like the shade and grass between my toes What's your favourite thing about spring? Blossoms blowing in the breeze Blossoms are amazing but they always make me sneeze Ah, 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 choo! Watching clouds drift by Or flying a kite It doesn't really matter There's no wrong or right What's your favourite? Savour it Just can't wait for it Thing about spring <laughs> The blossoms make me too, too... Sneezy! Oh dear, maybe you should go and ask Horace what his favourite spring thing is. Great idea! Let's go! Hello, Horace! Hey, Jess! Here's Little Bird again. She's really singing loudly today. Hey, that's a great song you're singing there, little bird. Yes, she's been following me and singing it all morning. Maybe she's just happy that it's spring. Maybe. Horace, what's your favourite thing about spring? <laughs> that's easy. It would have to be the spring sunshine. It's warm and fresh and makes everything look twinkly and magical. And what I love most is just sitting back like this and feeling the warmth of the sun on my face. Ah. I'm going to try. Ah. Phew. It's really warm, Horace. So the sun's a bit too hot for you, eh, Jess? It's lovely, but it's not my favourite thing. Well, maybe Billy and Bar will give you another idea. Yes, then I can go and tell Mimi and she'll give me my spring present. Come on, little bird. Why don't you come too? Bye, Horace. See you, Jess. My favourite spring thing is definitely all the new flowers that grow in the meadow. Hmm, they are pretty, but... What's your favourite thing about spring? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Bar likes best about spring? The sun? The blossoms? Or the fresh green grass? It's the grass! <laughs> Brilliant! Yes! New spring grass is delicious! Well... I do like the flowers and the grass, but they're not my favourite things. Oh, I wish I knew what was. What is it, Little Bird? I think Little Bird wants you to go with her. Yes, maybe that's what she's been trying to say all along. Let's find out what Little Bird wants. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey, you're back. Yes, Little Bird wants to show me something. Where's she gone? Let's look inside. <gasps> Yes! Look! <gasps> You're so 
so clever, little bird. Are these your babies? Your spring babies. They're so cute. That's it. Baby birds. They're my favourite springtime thing. We've found the answer. Yippity-yay, yippity-yay, yippity-yay. thing about spring are the newly hatched little baby birds. Oh, they're so cute. I heard all the cheering, so I guessed you'd found the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Jess. Here's your special present. My first spring picture of the year. Mimi, daffodils, they're great. I'm going to put it in my barn and then I can imagine that it's spring all year round. <laughs> Why don't you choose your favourite thing about spring? Everyone likes something different. I like grass. I like the flowers in the meadow. And I like the sun. The sun is the best. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>